Hi guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about Clavamox, also known as amoxicillin clavulonic acid. If you have a doggy or even a kitty, your pet may have received Clavamox in the past. Clavamox is an antibiotic, it's a beta-lactam, and it also is potentiated with clavulonic acid. Clavamox is a great drug for skin infections, bladder infections, all kinds of problems that are caused by gram-positive bacteria. And that's why veterinarians do prescribe this pretty darn regularly because it's a common problem we see in doggies, especially in kitties too. Clavamox, the way it works guys, is it starts off with amoxicillin, which is an antibiotic, it's a beta-lactam, and that goes in and affects the cell wall of the bacteria, making it unstable and making it uh, vulnerable to osmotic changes and basically lead to bacterial death. Now here's the deal. If a bacteria has beta-lactamase in there, that's going to block the beta-lactam, which is the amoxicillin. So what the clavulonic acid does is added to the amoxicillin. By itself, it doesn't do much. But when it's added to the amoxicillin, that gives you a really good product because the clavulonic acid prevents the beta-lactamase from damaging the amoxicillin, which allows the amoxicillin to do its job. Together, they can be far more effective at treating the dog with some resistance and it's just a much more effective treatment than amoxicillin. Now of course your veterinarian is prescribing this because they feel like it's needed and they feel like the clavulonic acid is a much better option in conjunction with amoxicillin than just amoxicillin by itself. Of course you need a script for this. You always need a script for any antibiotic. Going to your veterinarian have them see the problem, diagnose it, and then they can treat it. But antibiotics always need a script, guys, because it's an antibiotic and we want to prevent against resistance and making sure we pick the correct antibiotic based on the diagnosis and the diagnostic steps taken to get to that point. As always, any beta-lactam, any antibiotic can cause GI upset, can cause allergic reaction, can cause a handful of different side effects. For the most part, they're quite safe, but if you ever feel like your doggy or your kitty is doing poorly on the medication, Always contact your veterinarian and let them know the concern so they can document in their medical notes and then hopefully prevent future problems or even preventing it from being prescribed in the future.